I would like to invite you to presentation of uh, Reside Geo Portal, which is invented by Czech Center for Science and Society. Uh, this is the state at 24th of June. It's still in the development. My name is Přemysl Vohnout. Reside Geo Portal is divided into the two parts. First is Map Viewer, second is Catalog Client. Map Viewer is used for uh, viewing maps <laughs> and Catalog Client for searching and uh, showing uh, metadata. Reside Catalog Client is divided into the two parts. On the left side you can see search area, on the right side you can see map area where you can display spatial extents of the metadata records. Search is divided into the several terms, uh, type, text and more detailed uh, terms. In Catalog Client you can use internal Breeside catalog or you can add uh, more uh, catalog clients. Uh, you can add from predefined uh, catalog catalogs. Uh, for example, you can add plan for all. If you click on the add, it will be added to this tab. Of course, you can add uh, catalog uh, from different sources, which is not uh, listed in the predefined uh, catalogs uh, so you must specify title and URL and then if you click add it will be also added to this tab uh, now I will try some search for example for services if you click uh, services and search uh, it will show you how many records was found in the brief site is now nothing uh, in plan for all was founded uh, 46 in Tanya 113 if you click uh, title of the uh, catalog for example for this uh, service records uh, you will see in the map this um, bounding boxes which is which are of the metadata records which was found uh, so if you Moving in the uh, in this area, you will see that on the right side is some of them are blue. Uh, of course, you can search, uh, for example, by bounding box. So if you click into the map and create bounding box, and for example, select inside only, and then select uh, click search, you will see that there is different number of records. So if now I will click. For example, plan for all, you will see there is only 14 and all of them are inside the bounding box. Uh, if you click on the on some records, uh, right side will be changed from the map to the detail and you can see details of metadata records. Uh, of course, you can export uh, metadata uh, to XML or to the PDF. So if I click XML, you will see uh, XML format of this metadata. If I click on the PDF, it will show you PDF version of this metadata record. Here you can see this bounding box. Uh, special type like WMS or WFS uh, can be directly shown in the map. Uh, if you see this icon or in the detail you will see this map icon if you click it you will be put directly into the map and then you will see some details about the uh, service you can select image format query format or coordinate system there is list of supported, uh, so I will leave it in this uh, and click on the layer name and then if you click on the to map, uh, this layer will be added to the map. Now if you click on the title and zoom to layer,
The sitemap client is based on HS layers, which is extension to the open layers. It is divided into the panels. Basic panel is map panel in which you can see the map. Uh, then there are uh, layer switcher, info panel and OVS panel, which is some basic panels uh, for usage. Uh, map panel contains some basic functionality like measurement or panning. Uh, then in the top toolbar is some map composition tools and printing module. And then there is projection switcher and scales and permalink. In the layer switcher you can see list of the layers. Uh, of course if there are some uh, tools, layers with legend, you can see the legend. Then if there is this red eye, it means that this layer has uh, get feature info possibility and you can use this tool for resolving this data. Uh, then, of course, you can switch on and off these layers, uh, switch opacity of the layer, move these layers, uh, and you can see some information about them. For example, if I click this eye into the map, it will switch to the info panel, and you can see some information. Then there is this OVS manager which is used for connecting uh, other layers from services. Uh, the sitemap client will support uh, WMS, WFS, WCS and SOS services. Sometimes can happen that you have some service which is not in the coordinate system supported by the map then you have possibility to use warping module which is supported uh, by Breeside Geo Portal. So if you click on the OVS and put there some service, for example now I'm putting the Demis and click connect, you will see that it's only in the WGS84. Then if you select some layers and click to the map new window will pop up and you will see that it must be reprojected because it's not in the coordinate system supported by the map. If you click on the yes, it will be added like a normal layer and as you can see it's in this coordinate system which is now uh, on in the map. Reside Geo Portal have also uh, functionality of uh, creating outputs from the map window. Uh, for this is here printing module. If you click on this icon you will see new window where you can select uh, different types. Uh, default is print to image to geotiff but you can also have several possibilities like PNG, JPEG or GIF or you can select create by template uh, which is a uh, PDF output in the, in the template you can s define some pictures like logos or something like that uh, then if you select uh, format which you want you can click uh, print and then you will see output from the map Preside GeoPortal also supports WMS with time extension. So if you have some service which support double uh, time extend, you can edit like normal WMS. And if you click on the name of the layer, uh, you can see another options you can switch. So you can select some time uh, or date which you are interested in and if you click play uh, it will start switching uh, pictures uh, in the map 
depending on the time. Of course you can move it by the hand. And of course during this uh, animation you can still move with the map, zoom in or change opacity of the layer. Breeside Geo Portal now supports uh, WMS and with time, uh, printing to several outputs, uh, web map context export and import, reprojection layer switcher. Uh, what else will be implemented? WCS with time, WFS of course with time and uh, FS for filtering uh, data. Sensor observation service, uh, vector outputs, SLD editor, and WPS client. Uh, thanks for your attention.